While the Jamaica Agricultural Society, JAS, is awaiting a response from Agriculture Minister Floyd Green to allocate funds for the sector, a plan has been drafted by the agency. Among the plans are a revolving loan fund for farmers, rainwater harvesting and food storage. A total of 14,000 farmers are grappling with losses, estimated at $2.5 billion. Agriculture Minister Floyd Green announced that the ministry will embark on a backyard gardening program that will focus on food security. But First Vice President of the JAS, Dental Alvaranga, says the agricultural damage facing Jamaica will significantly impact the country's food security. He says the JAS is calling for a meeting with the Minister of Agriculture to discuss the issue. We look at the needs analysis of the country in respect of, you know, your vegetables, your condiments, your fruits, your cereals, your tubers, and so on. And we come up with a, a plan, an organized plan, organized, you know, scheduled um, planting program um, to ensure that, you know, we have um, supplies throughout the year. We're also looking at things like increased storage for value-added mm -hmm. and processing facilities, you know, things like, 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 like these. So when we have things in abundance, you know, if we have adequate storage, we have something to draw, to draw back on. We're also looking at things like a national irrigation stroke water harvesting program. In the meantime, Mr. Alvaranga says entities have been reluctant to provide insurance to farmers. He says the JAS has been lobbying hard without success. This is a very critical point because year after year, disaster after disaster, farmers suffer greatly. Mainly, you know, when you look at your coffee, um, your bananas and your plantains, they suffer severely. But uh, the agencies or entities are, are very, very reluctant, you know, to offer insurance to farmers. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure of the reason why, but I'm sure that approaches have been made. The JS has made approaches, and I'm sure, you know, um, efforts have been made to try to get, you know, various business houses or, you know, companies to look at this. But um, so far, things have not gone very well. Sasha Lee Hamilton, Frontline News.